Well, Don, um, fantastic friends, made a meatloaf, and not long ago, and I decided I wanted a meatloaf since I seen the video. And today I said, well, I, I guess I feel like cooking, even though it's just for myself. I'll probably free, most likely I'll free some and uh, give it to an elderly lady that I used to uh, work with. And I'll bring her some to eat. Um, so what I do different is, and I took her advice and I'm going to try the milk. I'm lactose intolerant so I use the almond milk. And I put that in there. I use the unsweetened almond milk. And I buy, I bought this meatloaf already seasoned at Publix. Um, they already have their pre-made uh, dinners. Only thing I added, I added uh, the milk. I added some garlic because I like garlic. I use tomato sauce and I put a little tomato sauce in them and I cut up some onion and I uh, mix it all together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese in the middle. Hold on one minute. Okay, so I added some the rest of the tomato sauce on top and then put a little bit more mozzarella on top. Actually, I just put a little bit, but just to show you, but like five minutes before it's done, then come back and put the uh, more mozzarella on top and just till it's melted so I uh, put it in there for an, an hour I'm gonna make uh, mashed potatoes I use the Idaho and uh, buttery home style mashed potatoes the instant but I mean you can use whatever you want and then the canned green beans but this is my favorite instant. That's, you know, the best of all of them. Um, okay. And now after I have it cooking, I use Lysol wipes to wipe down my counters. Um, Remy doesn't get up on my counters. And I've had several cats in my life and I've never allowed them up on my counters. But Remy was already trained to stay off when I got him. And... Okay, so I know people say, oh, she's got a cat. I'm not eating after her. There'll be cat food in my, in my food. No, not me, because I am very clean. And Okay, so um, also the reason for this video is to let y'all know. We're going to see what Remy's doing. Well, I know. You can't hear me, though. Okay, so I'm working on t-shirts, which I'm almost done with Teespring. And I'll be letting y'all know when that's all done. It's I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm trying to create. I've, I've tried to get a hold of somebody there, but... Is I messaged and I just kept getting put on hold, so I said I'll just figure it out myself, just like I did YouTube. What? What you meowing about? So, yeah, I'm working on T-shirts, mugs, and stickers. If y'all want to buy some for our YouTube channel, the drawings that'll be on it, they were drawn by uh, the young 
woman on uh, Husky Games, Siberian Husky Adventures, I believe is the name. She has four Huskies. Uh, Sasha, Malachi, Flash, and Chewie. So, alright, so when I get that done and figure that out and how to get them up for sale, then, because uh, I created more t-shirts and for some reason they're not going on to the site and the storefront and I don't know, I was having problems with the uh, website yesterday. Oh, it's going blurry, sorry. Alright, so I'll let y'all know when um, that's done. Remy, what are you doing? Is it dinner time? Okay, we gotta feed Remy his dinner. I do something different with instant potatoes. And my kids notice it too. Uh, one time I was out of sour cream and my uh, son came out and said, Mom, your potatoes taste different. And if you're out of sour cream, you can put a tablespoon of uh, mayonnaise in it. Because you can't really tell the difference. This makes it creamier, tastes better. I just put some sour cream in there. Eh, probably about a sour or a tablespoon full. And mix it up and then it's done. So it's done. I added a little bit more mozzarella. I turned the oven off and I'm going to set it in there for five minutes. This is what it looks like with the melted cheese on top. Let me cut it. And there's cheese in the middle. Can't really tell right now because it's still hot. 